It took a special person with vision, gumption, intelligence, and tenaciousness to lead COD's men's and women's track and field programs to eight national championships in an 11-year period. SHAP athletes won countless individual titles and All-American honors under her direction, and it took those same traits to make a dream become reality when the Athletic Hall of Fame here at COD got off the ground in 2018. It's been a memorable month for my colleague and friend, Jane Vachev, who in May became a member of the NJCAA Track and Field Co Coaches Hall of Fame. I'm proud to introduce Jane Vachev to this year's class of 2023 Hall of Fame induction for College DuPage. Uh, Jane has really meant a lot for me, both as an athlete and as a college coach. Uh, I think I have a very unique um, experience with her in that I was both a student athlete for her uh, here at College DuPage from 2000 and 2001, those track and field seasons, as well as uh, I was an assistant coach for her in 2005 and 2006. I came out as an athlete that I was fortunate enough to be on a, a, a relay team that, that got a medal at state, but what Jane did for me as a student athlete was really build my self-confidence as an individual. She gave me opportunities to compete in individual events as a student athlete, both in the 200 and the 100 meter dash. And with that came, you know, additional, you know, responsibilities as a student athlete as I went from my freshman year to my sophomore year. Uh, being a team captain that second year and, you know, her willingness to, to put that, you know, uh, trust in myself to, to help lead the group of athletes on the men's track and field team was, was a great honor for myself. I think the one thing about Jane that really stands out um, and, and is a tribute to herself and who she is as a coach is that not only does she give, opportuni does she give opportunities for her student athletes as they come in, um, from high school into the college here, you know, into the track and field program. But she also um, helps move, get them to move on, to help with graduation, help them take that next step in their academic process. So without Jane, I wouldn't have been able to move on and get my uh, bachelor's, finishing at a four-year college after College of DuPage. Um, and then after that, you know, she allowed me to come back on as a uh, as, a, as an employee here, as an assistant coach here on staff for her in, in those two seasons. So in those two seasons, it was, it was a great experience for myself. She was wonderful in that she gave me a ton of support and a lot of autonomy as an assistant coach. Uh, she really helped guide and lead me those first two years of my coaching career. And without her, I really would not be where I'm at today without her giving me those experiences, both as a student athlete and as I was starting off my career as a coach. So I'm uh, really grateful and blessed to be able to have, you know, had the opportunity to both run for Jane and to, and to be a, an assistant coach on staff w without her support as a student athlete and as a coach, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I'm very blessed. Thank you, Jane, for all that you have done. Uh, the, track and the track and field coaching community um, is, is a much better place because of you and you have touched the hearts of so many student athletes College of DuPage Track and Field is a historical track and field program. The program uh, really took off in the early years with Ron Otteson uh, leading the helm as a track and field coach. And then when Jane took over, she continued and grew that success under her guidance. Um, I had the honor of both being on the men's track and field uh, a program 2001. Uh, we didn't win nationals that year. We're, we're pretty close. Uh, I want to say we were second or third that year, but I recall our women won, that champ won the national title that year. Uh, and I think they had a string of like three national titles in a row um, during that period. So um, she really was instrumental in, in continuing that success. And then when I came back as a coach in 2006, we won a national title on the men's side. Um, with all that hard work and dedication, um, the program really has continued that success, you know, under, under Jane's guidance while, while she was the head coach here. Um, and I think a lot of that success is really attributed to her as an individual focusing on the people. Um, sometimes it's about, you know, coaching people and mentoring people. It's not always about the X's and O's. Jane's a very sound uh, coach when it comes to understanding, you know, the, the, the coaching theories that, that need to be in place for student athletes to succeed on the track. But just as well, she's, she's great about um, supporting the student athletes off the track. Coaching is also about, um, you know, it's about building relationships and being a mentor, and she's, she's great at that. And I think um, 
her both, you know, leading the program from, from both angles, the, uh, the, the, the person aspect of it all, and also the X's and O's of training. Um, it was instrumental in just continuing that success. With all that said, it is my honor to introduce Jane to this year's Hall of Fame class. Uh, both the student athletes that have, you know, had the opportunity to, to compete and run for Jane and the coaches that have worked for her through the years, we're all really proud of you in this moment. It's well deserving and um, you have touched the hearts of so many people. We are so honored that you are going to receive this honor today here at College of DuPage. Vatchev won more NJCAA team titles than any other head coach in COD history, guiding the track and field program for 13 seasons. The Chaps men's team won four titles, 2002, 2003, 2006, and 2010. And the women also won four titles, 2000 to 2002 and 2004 under her direction. She coached 72 national champions, 213 All-Americans and 70 academic All-Americans. 18 of her 21 teams placed in the top five in Division III competition. A physical education assistant professor, she was named the 2022-2023 COD Outstanding Faculty Member and founded the COD Athletics Hall of Fame in 2017. Please welcome Jane Vatchev. Thank you. Thank you for this honor. Thank you, Gabe, for that beautiful tribute and, and for taking the time to do that. I want to first give thanks to God, for he is my North Star and my rock. I am humbled and honored to be considered worthy to be amongst the 18 inductees that came before us and the five amazing individuals inducted with me tonight. It's very special for me to be inducted with Ralph Miller, the boss who hired me at COD, and Jessica Stacy, one of my former track and field athletes. So a double blessing for me to be with those two. I can tell you that although I am honored to receive this award, this award is not really mine. You see, I did not achieve the, these accolades and championships without the help of so many people. God has blessed me by surrounding me with the right people in my life. An amazing family and beautiful friends, the best assistant coaching staff that any coach was lucky enough to have, and a group of athletes who made the journey life changing. My family includes my husband of 31 years, Oleg, and as a fellow coach, he knows the time and commitment it takes to be successful. Thank you for your love, for supporting me in my career, and for being that sounding board when I needed it. My son, Michael, and my daughter, Helena, thank you for bringing joy to my life and for being understanding when I was stressed and tired and busy. You are my greatest legacy. I am so proud to be your mom and I love you both. I was blessed with parents who not only loved me and my three brothers, but believed in me and gave me opportunities to achieve. My dad, Dr. Alan Birch, shared his passion for athletics all of my life. As a small child, we took part in many athletic competitions, and he taught me about leadership, about dedication, and about treating others with kindness. 12 years ago, we lost my dad to cancer, but I know he has been watching over me and my career every step of the way. My mom, Elaine, who is here with me tonight, is a shining example of living life with faith, putting family first, having an inquisitive nature, and a dedication to excellence. Thank you, Mom, for always being supportive and for being a great example of a strong woman. I love you, Mom. I am forever grateful to my brothers, Eric, Mark, and Grant, 
two of which are here with me tonight, who brought out my competitive edge by never letting me win at anything growing up. <laughs> and my two sister-in-laws, who are more like sisters to me than sister-in-laws. I love you both. My work family and my many dear friends also contributed to my success. Thanks to my colleagues and my bosses and my special friends who all supported me throughout the many years of my career. The smartest thing that I did in coaching was to surround myself with the most amazing assistant coaches. Over the 13 years that I coached at COD, I had 37 different assistant coaches, many of whom were former athletes at COD. They made my job easier and were so instrumental in fostering our national success. They also were great role models for our athletes of how to be successful in life. Thank you to all those that contributed, and I especially want to recognize Gabe Rivera, Karen Zuli, Ron Otteson, and the greatest technical assistant I ever had as a coach, Nevin Govan, who are all here with me tonight. Thank you, I love you all. To the 533, and I counted, <laughs> 533 track and field and cross country athletes that I had the pleasure to work with in my 13 years of coaching at COD, thank you for your dedication to excellence, your work ethic that never quit, for the passion each of you put into chasing the dream of a championship, and most importantly, for the journey. I am very proud that over 30 former COD athletes from my different teams became coaches. Gabe Revere, who you saw in the video, is now the head men's coach at North Central College and doing great in his first year. Scott Block, former um, head coach at SIU Edwardsville. Mike Olson, head coach at Triton. Bob Thurnhofer was head coach at Loyola, now a full-time assistant at New Mexico, to name a few. They are successful as coaches and more importantly, successful as people. I hope that my mentoring had some influence on passing the torch of passion for coaching. Lastly, I just wanna share a story of what I believe sums up the experience of many who were part of our COD track and field teams. Every season, we had a large three-day track meet called the Chicagoland Championships, which brought together every school from every level, from NCAA Division I, II, II, and III to our junior colleges, such as College of DuPage. So very highly competitive track meet. One particular year, on the second day of competition that was being held at North Central College, I peered out across the infield of the track to see a group of athletes sitting in a circle in the middle of the infield. And as I approached the group, I noticed that they were all former COD athletes that had moved on to compete for other programs around the Chicago area. They didn't see me walking up, and as I got closer to say hello, I could hear their conversation. They were discussing and comparing their current athletic experience to what they had experienced at the College of DuPage. Every single athlete, as they spoke, shared that their time at COD had been the best of their college career. As you would guess, by the time I was close enough for them to see me, I was in tears. More important than the national championships, than the medals won, than the accolades accomplished, these athletes had memories of time spent together and love for the shared journey. This is my greatest coaching legacy. Thank you again. <laughs>